Hello everybody, you are listening to Money Grows on Trees. I'm your host, Pastor Alfred. Money Grows on Trees is a series of broadcasts that briefly highlights certain portions of books that I've written or I'm currently writing. The Money Grows on Trees is a series that is dedicated to the topic of money and it actually started as an offshoot of the book Money Grows on Trees, which is a classic book that I wrote. If you don't have a copy of Money Grows on Trees, get your copy of Money Grows on Trees. There's a free sample download of, of just a few pages of the book. It's available as an ebook e- at pastoralfred.com. Make sure you go to pastoralfred.com and download your free sample of the book Money Grows on Trees. Also, there are other broadcasts in this series that have covered a vast amount of topics and a great deal of wisdom that you would love to hear and that are great and powerful things that will be of great benefit to you. The topic of today's broadcast is look like it. Let us look at the book of Daniel chapter 3 verse 24 to 25. I'm reading from the ESV translation. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste. He declared to his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. He answered and said, But I see four men unbound, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hot, and the appearance of the fourth is like a son of the gods. Praise the Lord. You see, I say the topic of today is look like it. You see, a lot of people do not understand the power of looking like what you want to become or what you want to be perceived as. If you want to be perceived as a king, you have to look like a king. Look at this portion of the scripture. King Nebuchadnezzar did not know God. He did not have any relationship with the true God, with the Jewish God, the God from that is um, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see, the God that created the heaven and earth. King Nebuchadnezzar had no relationship with that God, and he did not have any insight. He is not like he was a scholar that studied gods and in the midst of studying gods he studied about the god of abraham isaac and jacob that was not the case you see however when he saw this first man in the fire he described him and said the force is like the son of the gods now this was the holy spirit and you can see the term he used the son of the gods he knew there was something about this person he's like the son of the gods you know the now you have to understand that God appeared to Abraham before and he looked like a man. You see, and you can see in the case of Sodom and Gomorrah, when angels came to Lot's, to Lot's house, they looked like men. And that is why the homosexuals, they wanted to rape the angels. They did not know that they were angels. They thought they were just men. You see, that is how they looked. But you can see in this portion of the scripture, this person, this first man in the fire looks like the son of the gods. Now you have to understand that Nebuchadnezzar is somebody that they had their own religion that had gods and all of that. So he knew that there was something about this person that he was looking at that puts him in that class of gods. You see, he looks like it. Now I reference Abraham and Lord so that you can see that it is possible for God or for angels to look like a human. It is possible for them not to look divine if they choose to. However, in this case, you can see the importance and the power of looking like it. This being look celestial, this being look like one of the gods. This was actually the true God. This is actually the Holy Spirit. You see, but he called him the son of the gods you see so 
He, that is how he looked. In the same way, in business, you must understand that your business may not be a certain way and it may not be in a certain place right now. But it's important for your business and for you to look like it. Your business has to look like it. If you own a company that is not yet um, in a position where it has done multi-billion dollar deals around the world, you need to look like it in order to attract people who have multi-billion dollar deals, um, deals to give. You know, it's important for you to look like it. They have to look at you and see that you are qualified. If somebody comes to your business or to your company and wants to do a great deal and they look around, the some of the employees are sleeping, the place is unclean, the place is dirty, the rug has not been cleaned for a while, um, there is just a certain way it looks what happens? That person will end up not doing any business with you. He will go to somebody that looks like they are going to be capable of handling such a deal and such a business. You see, or whatever contract that person has to offer. This happens a lot. As a matter of fact, when you look at a lot of um, retail outlets and a lot of um, fast foods, even on a normal um, occasion, a normal um, day with normal customers, not even business customers, a, business, a normal um, customer who wants to buy fast foods may come into a restaurant and based on how that place looks, we never come there again. You see, but we go to another business that looks up to par, looks quality and looks high class even though it may not be, you see. So for you to actually become, you have to look like what you want to become in business. You have to understand it. You have to understand this concept. I've given you the example of Nebuchadnezzar and him seeing the Holy Spirit. And because the Holy Spirit looks like a divine being, he classified him as, wow, this must be one of the gods. He was referring to his own gods, his own idea of what gods look like and should look like. You see, even though the Holy Spirit could have appeared like another man, he chose not to. He appeared in, in a form that Nebuchadnezzar will see that there is something different. That this being is celestial. This being is one of the gods. This being is it's actually the true God. It is not just a matter of one of the gods, but you can see how he interpreted it, how he saw the light in which he saw what was before his eyes. So you must understand this concept in business. And this should affect how you carry yourself in business. Because that determines a lot. How people see you determines how they relate to you. You have to look like it. You see, and your business also must look like it. Your offers also must look like it. You see, it goes down to simple things like um, your pen, for example. Your company should have its own custom pen. If you are using pens, you, if you own a retail outlet, the bags that you are using, the customers use to wrap what they buy should be your own custom bags. You see, don't use um, generic bags that have no label. Let those bags carry your company's label. Let people who walk out of there know that that person went shopping at your retail shop and they bought so and so products. You see, you know how um, people go to big stores in trendy areas and they come out with the bags, with their heavy bags of the label, the designer label on the bags and all of that. You do that with your own products. You do that with those who shop at your own store. Down to the very last detail. It may look like that is not important, but it is. You see, pay attention to the detail and make sure that to the very last detail, you see, that you have that look of professionalism. You have that look that you want people to see you as. You see, a lot of time this comes before 
you actually are established in that position. You know, sometimes you have to look like a king before you actually become a king. Sometimes you actually have to look like, talk like, and think like a billionaire before you actually see billions in your bank accounts or in the asset column of your balance sheets. You see, so this is something that she must understand. The value of looking like it and the importance of looking like it. So that's it for today. For more information on this and on several different topics, go to pastoralfred.com and make sure you subscribe. There you will get updates on new broadcasts and also new books that I have available to the public. I will also advise you to go to pastoralfred.com slash clothing. There you can get some clothes that are available there for sale. Right now, the clothes that are there, a lot of them have coats that I have made that are on the shirts and on the hoodies, you know. That's something that you should check out for yourself. Also, look at alfredandfriends.com slash marketplace. That is an online marketplace like amazon.com. There you can sign up and sell anything you want to anybody, no matter where they are in the world. It's a great place for you to launch your business or an offshoot of your currently existing business. Once again, thank you and God bless you.